Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths, the quickest, fastest and easiest way to multiply two two-digit numbers together. This will be done using the rainbow method, which technically is the down-down cross method, which we covered in part two. Click here to check out that video, or you can click on the link provided in the description below. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Let's see how quickly you can work out 31 times 22. I'll give you around 5 to 7 seconds to work that out. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. If you got 682, well done. But if you felt that you ran out of time, don't worry. I'll show you the quickest way of getting that using this method. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is we want to multiply the first digit of each number together. So that's 3 times 2, which is 6 and that will give us the first digit of our answer. Then we leave a gap. Then we multiply the last digit of each number together. So that's one times two, which is two, and that gives us the last digit of our answer. Then we do what we call the rainbow. So we do three times two, which is six, and we want to add that to one times two, which is two. That in total gives eight. So the answer is 682. Now, with the down down cross method and this method, they are both the same actually, but with this method, as you can see, everything is written all in one line, whereas the down down cross method, they are written in columns. So that's the major difference there. Also, as you can see, these lines and this mini working here, all of this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. This is just shown for demonstration purposes and you can actually do all of this mentally. I've also slowed some of this down so that you can easily understand the steps involved. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Let's consider 43 times 23. Let's see how quickly you can do that. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. If you got 989, well done. But if not, don't worry. Let's just use the rainbow method to get the answer. So first of all, we multiply the four by the two, so the first digits of each number. So that gives us eight, when we leave a gap. Then we multiply the last digit, so we do three times three, and that gives us nine. Then we use the rainbow, so we do four times three, which is 12. And we want to add that to three times two, which is six. Now that totals to 18. So what we do here now, we only got space for one digit, so we put the eight here and we carry the one there. And what we do with that one is we add that to this eight over here. So the final answer then becomes 989. Okay, so let's have a look at one more example so that we have fully understood the rainbow method. So let's see how quickly you can work out 63 times 78. Give that one a go. Okay, time's up. Did we get 4914? Don't worry if you didn't. Let's work through it together. Okay, so first of all, we multiply the first digits of each number. So that's 6 times 7, and that gives 42. Then we leave a gap. Then we multiply the last digit, so we do 3 times 8. And that gives 24. So what we need to do with that 2, we need to carry it. So we put it over here. Then we do the rainbow. So we do 6 times 8, which is 48. And we want to add that to 3 times 7, which is 21. That totals to 69. Now, adding this 2 from before, that gives 71. So we put the 1 here and we carry the 7 over here. Now that 7 gets added to the 42. So in total, the final answer then becomes... 4914 okay so hopefully by now you would have got a good handle on the technique so what I'll do is I'll leave it with these three questions for you to try you can pause the video and I'll join you in a few moments okay so let's see how well you did at these questions so starting with the first one that's 5 times 7 which is 35 leave a gap, then 1 times 2, which is 2, 
Then we do 5 times 2, which is 10. And we add that to 1 times 7, which is 7. That totals to 17. So put 7 here, carry the 1. So the final answer is 3672. Number 2. So we do 3 times 4, which is 12. Leave a gap. Then 6 times 7, which is 42. So carry the 4. Then we do 3 times 7, which is 21. I'm going to add that to 6 times 4, which is 24. That gives 45. Adding this 4, it's 49. So the final answer is 1692. Number 3. 6 times 8 is 48. Leave a gap. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 6 times 5 is 30. We want to add that to 4 times 8, which is 32. That totals to 62. Adding this 2 gives 64. Carry the 6. And that totals to 5,440. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those. But if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.